The animal protects them against spells, disease, and is their guardian of happiness. Their holy reindeer is tired. It has just turned 15, which is old for a reindeer. Bot's father had selected the animal. Bot's father had been a shaman and knew how to speak with the animal's spirit. Who keeps an eye on the holy reindeer? The animal is dying. For Bat the Tzatan, death is only a continuation of life. The soul of his holy reindeer has returned to the mountain. As a last service to the family, the animal gives mm. them his body, his skin, and his antlers. Bat must now make haste to find another sacred reindeer. Without a mascot, his wife and children are unprotected. In the shaman tradition, Bat must have a dream, and the dream must show him the reindeer to choose. The only trouble is he's never had this kind of dream before. It had always been his father who'd chosen the family's only animal. Bat is afraid that his dream for the holy reindeer will never come. Perhaps he will find a wild reindeer to steal its soul. At last, the mountain has given him his dream. Now, Bat knows which animal to choose from his herd. <laughs> to celebrate the new sacred reindeer, Bat carries out a ritual his father once taught him. The ritual consecration. To win acceptance of the new reindeer by the spirits of the forest, and for the future to be good, the bull, in its fall, must remain looking at the sky. But can then walk three times round the family tent. It's the crowning moment. Winter can come when it wants now. Snow can cover his kingdom. <laughs> 